Hello, uh, in this video I'm briefly showing uh, the last functionality that I have developed uh, for my DIY media remote controller project, uh, which is the display one. Before to start showing uh, the functionality, I uh, would like to ask if you like the video and if you like the work uh, that I'm doing, uh, to not forget to subscribe, hit the bell and to give a thumbs up uh, to this video. So let's open Cubase. Cubase is now starting up. There you go. You see pan because uh, pan pod functionality is the default one assigned to the strip again when the DAW start up. So I'm gonna open a project here uh, with one track call it drums and the moment the project is open and the, the, the full strip uh, as accordingly uh, reacted. Uh, you can also see in the display appearing the name uh, assigned to this track and to this channel at the moment. Of course if I change the name to guitars for instance like this when I hit enter immediately the display show uh, the name. Um, moving the pump pot moving the V pot sorry like this we can move the pump pot functionality I repeat by default when the DAW startups the pump pot is assigned to the channel V pot like this and if we click on the overlay uh, on the name value button we can assign permanently the value or getting back to the name like this if you click on EQ on the overlay again we assign the EQ functionality to the uh, VPOT of the channel 1. This is the first EQ frequency functionality assigned to the uh, VPOT of the channel 1. And in fact moving, we can, sorry, we can open here so that we can see it. Moving the VPOT, as you can see, we move the frequency and we see the frequency appearing on the display. Again, if I click on value, we can permanently see the value. One important thing is that this 194.3 Hz is not a value that I calculate and I and I print on the on the display. The value is exactly what is in shown in Cubase and it's coming from Cubase uh, through a, a system exclusive message. You can see it here. This is true for any text message that you see in the display. Uh, moving on, if we click on again on the overlay session, we click on shift and then again in EQ, we assign now the uh, gain functionality of the first EQ, of the first band, uh, uh, to the V pot of the channel 1. And in fact, moving it, you see, we can cut or add. This first on this first frequency again clicking here in the name value we can assign uh, we can show uh, permanently the value that's all thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video